Hey, it's Jane. I am in San Francisco. This is, I think, Union Square. Shine, the sun is shining, it's really cool, it's really good. San Francisco is a beautiful city. Um, it's not quite what I expected, but it's um, absolutely gorgeous and it's even more lovely when the sun shines. And just in the background, I don't know if you can see it, but we got Saks, Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, anyway, I'm at RSA Con and had a quick look yesterday at the exhibition floor. Um, it is, <laughs> it is huge, it's massive. Um, today is the day when I'm actually going to be really kind of walking it properly and um, lots of meetings and things like that, really excited about it. I've already been doing breakfast meetings, you know, a couple with the UK um, Department of Trade, um, which has been really interesting. This, this morning they did a breakfast meeting with, um, with some VCs. So the VCs were going through exactly what they're looking for for UK companies, um, you know, when they want to invest in them. So one of the big things that came out was about stories, you know, the importance of stories, the importance of pitching, the importance about being coachable and um, actually not really holding back and being very British and humble and, you know, all of the stuff that we normally do as Brits. Um, so it was very much, you know, tell your story, um, don't be a me too company, come over to the UK, the, uh, the US, the more that you can be here and uh, be more visible as opposed to a kind of business tourist um, the better you're going to be received and be an international co company if you want to be you know certainly one of the big players in the industry from the word go that that was really important a big message the other thing that was really interesting actually was the speed um, in terms of um, sales so from a turning a prospect into a client in the UK apparently it's an awful lot shorter than in the US I think they said in the US, it's about 120 to 170 days in terms of a pipeline um, you know, to, to convert a, 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 client, a prospect into a client. And so the reason that is, is because there's an awful lot of competition in the, in the US and they see it as there being less competition in the UK. I actually found that quite surprising actually because there's an awful lot of competition in the UK. Um, certainly having been in the industry for so long, I've seen it really change. So um, niche down, again, another message that came through and really practice your pitch. What has become apparent to me is just the inability of how um, people, employees and also business owners are pitching. And because of that, I'm gonna be doing some work actually. I'll do a video on how to pitch. I'll give you a framework. I'll give you some top tips uh, from how to stand, how to um, how to present yourself, how to um, use your voice as a tool, as well as the language and the framework that you've got to craft. So it's highly important, and it's also important that all of your employees, not just the salespeople, can actually pitch, can actually sell. Everyone is an ambassador, and everybody needs to be doing this. Everyone should be taking on board, you know, if you're gonna build a really strong, effective company, the culture of your company, and the culture of your company is built on the values and, and your, your mission. So everybody needs to know this. This is something that I did with my business, and I still do. Define what your mission is, define what your values are, and what you stand for, and why you're doing what you're doing, why you're in business. Everybody needs to know this, because then it just builds a much more stronger and effective company. So, get to grips with your pitch and make sure that all of your employees can do it and that they're proud of it because when you're actually out there selling and you understand what you stand for and why you're doing what you do and what you believe in then people will buy into that too you know people buy people they you know it's it's absolutely imperative it's so vital and when you're proud of what you do and you know why you're doing it you have no um, no inability no almost like shame for actually going out there and selling because this is what I do. I know why I do what I do. I know the amount of people that I want to help and I'm shameless about it because it's just like, it's got to be done. I need to help as many people as I can do and that's why I'm out there selling and pitching and telling people what I'm doing. Um, sometimes, uh, very, very occasionally, it's really, comf it's, um, you know, it's uncomfortable, you know, but I do it because I have to help so many people. So, um, this is my little message for today. I will get it out as a video, probably as a vlog. I'm almost doing these on a daily basis, I just haven't posted them, but hopefully they're useful 
to you and watch out for other things because I'm going to be doing some, uh, I'm going to be answering some questions that keep being asked. So questions like, how do we get more women speaking in panels? This is coming through so often at the moment. So I'm going to be doing a video on that really, really soon. But right now, here's a vlog from sunny San Francisco. And um, anyway, wherever you are in the world, I hope you are having a great day and um, message me, reach out to me. I always do my best to, to um, catch up with you and at least acknowledge that you've reached out and try and help. And if you haven't got over to my website, Cybersecurity Capital, and if you haven't signed up to become a member of the Insecurity Club, then please do. All the details are on my website and most likely I will put a link below this video. Video, God. <laughs> just need to practice how to talk right now. So anyway, that's it for now. Bye.